Volcanic eruptions are one of the most awe-inspiring and terrifying displays of raw power our planet can produce. When a volcano erupts, it unleashes a destructive force that can obliterate entire cities, reshape landscapes, and alter the very course of civilization. So join us as we count down the most explosive volcanic eruptions in history. Number 10. In 1883, a small volcanic island in Indonesia erupted with a force that shook the world. The explosion caused by the Krakatoa eruption was so loud that it was heard over 3,000 miles away where people described the sound as cannon fire from a battleship. The Batavia Gas Works, 99 miles away from the source, registered a sound pressure spike equivalent to 172 decibels. The sound pressure wave traveled the globe seven times in total over the following five days. The eruption is estimated to have released energy equivalent to 200 megatons of TNT. That's 13,000 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. And it is considered to be the loudest sound ever in recorded history. The eruption created a massive tsunami that engulfed the surrounding islands, killing more than 36,000 people. But the devastation didn't stop there. The eruption sent ash and gases high into the stratosphere, forming a massive volcanic cloud that circled the globe for years. The ash in the atmosphere caused beautiful sunsets around the world, and even lowered global temperatures by as much as 1.2 degrees Celsius. It's said that the skies were so darkened by the ash that in some parts of the world, it was possible to read a newspaper at night by the glow of the moon. The eruption of Krakatoa was a reminder that even the most beautiful and peaceful places on Earth can harbor a terrifying and explosive power. Number 9. Over 7,000 years ago, a massive volcanic eruption occurred in what is now southern Oregon. It created one of the most beautiful natural wonders in the world, Crater Lake. The eruption of Mount Mazama was one of the most powerful volcanic events in North America releasing over 50 cubic kilometers of ash and lava into the air. The force of the explosion was so intense that it created a massive caldera, a large, circular depression that now holds the beautiful blue waters of Crater Lake. The eruption of Mount Mazama was one of the largest in North America, and it left behind a legacy that is still visible today. The volcanic ash and debris that were ejected into the atmosphere created a thick layer of pumice and ash, that covered an area of over half a million square kilometers, from present-day Montana to California. Despite the massive destruction caused by the eruption, the beauty of Crater Lake is a testament to the power of nature to create something truly awe-inspiring out of even the most destructive forces. Number 8 In 1815, Mount Tambora, located in Indonesia, erupted with a force so great that it could be heard over 1,000 miles away. The eruption was one of the largest in history, releasing over 160 cubic kilometers of ash and debris into the atmosphere. The impact of the Tambora eruption was felt globally. The ash and debris ejected into the atmosphere created a global climate anomaly, leading to crop failures, famine, and disease outbreaks in many parts of the world. In Europe and North America, 1816 became known as the year without a summer. Temperatures dropped and snow fell in June and July. Today, the site of the Tambora eruption is a popular destination for adventurers and scientists alike. Number 7. The Long Valley Caldera in Eastern California is home to one of the largest volcanic eruptions in North American history. This massive eruption occurred approximately 760,000 years ago and unleashed an estimated 580 cubic kilometers of volcanic material. The eruption was so powerful that it caused the caldera floor to collapse, creating the distinctive bowl-shaped depression that we see today. The effects of this eruption were felt across the continent. Ashfall and pyroclastic flows covered a large area of what is now California, Nevada, and Oregon. The eruption caused a major climate change event with global temperatures dropping by as much as 3 degrees Celsius for several years after the event. Today, the Long Valley Caldera remains an active volcanic area, with a history of both explosive and non-explosive eruptions. Understanding the geology and history of this unique location is critical for predicting and preparing for any future volcanic activity.
Number 6. Yellowstone National Park is known for its geysers, hot springs, and stunning scenery. But beneath the surface lies a massive supervolcano that has erupted multiple times throughout history. The largest of these occurred approximately 640,000 years ago, when the Yellowstone Creek volcano erupted. The eruption was a catastrophic event, with an estimated volume of over 1,000 cubic kilometers of material ejected into the atmosphere. To put that into perspective, that's more than 350 times the size of the eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980. The ash and debris from the Yellowstone Creek eruption would have covered a huge area, potentially affecting the global climate for years after. Scientists believe that the eruption was so massive that it may have caused a temporary ice age. Number 5 Number 5 on our countdown is the Cerro Gallon volcano eruption which occurred around 2.2 million years ago in Argentina. This massive eruption resulted in the release of an estimated 1,050 cubic kilometers of ash and lava. The eruption occurred in phases, with a series of powerful explosions and lava flows that devastated the surrounding landscape. One interesting fact about the Cerro Galen eruption is that it formed a caldera, which is now filled with water and known as Laguna Blanca. To put the scale of this eruption in perspective, the amount of ash and lava released by Cerro Galan was potentially equivalent to around 400 million Olympic swimming pools. It's hard to fathom the power of such an event, but the eruption of Cerro Galan is a reminder of the incredible forces that shape our planet. Number 4 The Taupo eruption occurred approximately 26,500 years ago in what is now New Zealand. The volume of erupted tephra was a staggering 1,170 cubic kilometers. The eruption occurred when a magma chamber deep beneath the Earth's surface became overpressured, causing a massive explosion that sent ash, rock, and gas high into the atmosphere. The eruption created a crater which measures approximately 22 by 15 miles. The Taupo eruption had a significant impact on the surrounding landscape and on the climate of the region. Ashfall from the eruption covered much of the North Island of New Zealand, while pyroclastic flows or hot avalanches of ash and gas devastated the area around the volcano. Number 3 The Wakamaru volcanic eruption occurred around 340,000 years ago. This massive event resulted in the eruption of over 2,000 cubic kilometers of tephra, a staggering amount that is difficult to comprehend. The Wakamaru eruption was a classic example of a rhyolitic eruption, in which the magma is so viscous that it's unable to flow easily, leading to a buildup of pressure that eventually results in a violent explosion. This type of eruption can result in huge pyroclastic flows, which are composed of a mixture of hot gas, ash, and rock that can travel at incredible speeds and cover vast distances. The Wakamaru eruption likely had a major impact on the surrounding landscape, leaving behind vast deposits of ash and rock that would have transformed the terrain for thousands of years. Today, the site of the eruption is marked by a large caldera, a testament to the immense power of this ancient volcanic event. Number 2 Of all the volcanic eruptions that have occurred in Earth's history, few compare to the sheer magnitude of the Pacana caldera eruption. This massive explosion, which occurred approximately 4 million years ago, unleashed a staggering 2,500 cubic kilometers of tephra into the atmosphere. The Pacana Caldera is located in the Andes Mountains in northern Chile and is part of a chain of volcanoes known as the Central Volcanic Zone. This area is known for its highly explosive eruptions, which are caused by the interaction between magma and the surrounding rock. The Pacana Caldera eruption was so powerful that it likely had a significant impact on the global climate, causing a cooling effect that lasted for several years. In fact, scientists believe that this eruption may have been one of the factors that contributed to the onset of the Ice Age that occurred during the Pliocene Epoch. Despite the devastating effects of this eruption, the Pacana Caldera remains a popular destination for hikers and outdoor enthusiasts who come to marvel at the incredible natural beauty of the area. And now number one. Of all the volcanic eruptions in Earth's history, none were more cataclysmic than the eruption of Lake Toba, which occurred 74,000 years ago. This is the largest known explosive eruption in the last 25 million years, 
and its effects were felt across the globe. The volume of tephra ejected during the eruption is estimated to be a staggering 2,800 cubic kilometers. That's 1,000 times larger than the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. It was so massive that it caused a volcanic winter that lasted for years, with ash and gas blanketing the earth and reducing sunlight, resulting in a drop in global temperatures. The Lake Toba eruption had a profound impact on the human population. It is believed to have nearly wiped out early humans, reducing their numbers to just a few thousand. This has led some scientists to suggest that this event was responsible for a genetic bottleneck in the human population. The last super eruption was 22,000 years ago, and scientists estimate that super eruptions like the ones in this list occur every 50 to 100,000 years. So the chances of one happening in our lifetime are low, but not zero. If you've stuck around this long, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Click here for other videos. See you next time.